Hi, it's Jan. Uh, today I'm going to make a little mailbox card, thank you note, it's just after Christmas, and um, I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Happy Mail die set. Um, I'm also using Simon Says Stamp um, Big Thanks die, and Simon Says Stamp has their dies on sale right now, if you happen to see this before New Year's. I'm also using uh, on the card I'm getting ready to make, it's going to be more like this one, and it's uh, Mama Elephants on the Hills Creative Cuts. You you don't have to use all these different dies. You can just make a card like this and write your thank you note inside. But I'm using scraps left over from Christmas because these are thank you notes from my Christmas uh, presents. Uh, this cute die has a little letter that goes inside a mailbox that folds over. And you can either set it where it can come out or you can double stick tape it. I used the Tombow. And it actually, you can undo it if you really want to, but that keeps it from falling out in the envelope. I'm just using scraps that are left over from Christmas because I've kind of cleaned up my Christmas things and I, I need to get rid of some of them and you can still have a Christmassy thing to, theme to your Christmas cards, thank you cards. Now I'm gonna use a piece of uh, my Nina Solar Crest, the Nina cardstock that I use. My cutter's getting a little old so there's a bit of a ragged edge here and take it off with my fingernail file and again I, when I even if I score a card at the four and a quarter mark and I didn't do this card I still match the ends because I want as neat a fold as I can get. If you hear a kind of a rumbling noise, it's it's thundering outside. My husband has decided to sleep because it's so rainy and delicious weather. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to cut these out. You know how to use a die and cut out, but I will say that I used white cardstock for the mailbox for the flag and the heart, I used red cardstock with that scrapbook.com uh, double stick tape on the back so that I could just stick it on. I didn't do the mailbox in the double stick because you have to have part of it non-sticky and if you did it on double stick, everything would be sticky. And then I did the post and um, Echo Park Grandpa Plaid. It's a plaid, but the other side is wood grain. But there are several different wood grains that you can use. And it, any of them will do fine. I just have to use it because I like the way that particular one looks. On the thanks, it cuts out the, the background shadow and the letters and I did the letters in and I showed you in a previous video how to do these letters in double stick this is a, a kind of a mint colored cardstock that I had some scraps of to use for the thanks my sky is going to be snowflake and this is uh, left over from the Christmas stock as you can see in the back side is Kind of looks like snow, so I thought, well, that would make a good background. So here's how I put it together. Oh, my ATG gun is not being nice today. I just changed the tape and I kind of messed up the tape change a bit. Got a little bit of a looseness.
there was some tape hanging over the edge. So, I could just do half like I did there and just do that sky half and then do the hills, but it's just easier it seems sometimes to do the whole thing. So that's my sky. This is from the On the Hills Cuts and I did those on double stick. Try to use the double stick as much as possible on uh, things I know that are going to just stick down. I don't have to have an open side to them. It just makes life easier to me. Okay, so here we go with, now we're going to start on the mailbox part. It comes in three sections and you score the three sections. Okay, this side, and I've already done this. I'll go ahead and show you on this one. It has a score line on the die, so you know exactly where to fold it. Fold on the score lines, and even the little mail flap is scored. You don't have to, but you can. Now, what you need to know is the side with the circle score, which is where, and you probably can't see this on film, which is where the flag goes, is the top part. This is the the part with the flap there. That's actually the back. And then you fold it like this. Here's the deal. This piece is actually longer than it should be to go in that flap. But that's good because it gives it a three-dimensional look once you fold it. So, I'm taking, this is a N95 Tombow light gray marker. And I'm going to just gray the inside so that it makes like the inside of the mailbox have some dimension. As you can see, and then you know, I think I'll use the yeah, this is easier. And there's your mailbox. Here's your post, which I did on the double stick tape. This is supposed to be a letter and it's scored. So you fold it over just like you're making a real envelope. Then I like to use this is sequin tape, double stick tape. Got that on Amazon. Put it inside the envelope. Your bottom flap goes up first, then your triangles over the side, and then your flap for the envelope here. Then the little heart to seal the envelope. Now I take a kind of a mint green on 
I haven't put any ink on this in three days. It's still got plenty on it because all I want is just a little bit of a shadow so that you can tell the envelope marks on it. And you use a light blue or a mint color to give the shadow effect. So it'll look like And this is just a wrapper from something I bought just so that it doesn't get my surface dirty. Then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. This only goes like two-thirds of the way up on the mailbox. See, this part's sticking out of the, of the lump on the mailbox. So I'm just going to take this and lightly cut the backing paper. I, want the re I don't want this part sticky, so because I did it on the double stick tape, if I took it all off, the whole thing would be sticky. Then again, there is a little circle on here that is scored so you know where to put the flag. And when you have the flag up, and you can do it up or you can do it laying sideways like this, but when, if you have a rural mailbox, when the flag is up, it means you need to come, the mail carrier needs to open your box and get mail out. Okay, so we have our card. Because the flap is going to be open, the, and the bent part, like the dimensional part of the post, needs to be at the bottom. So we want this kind of stick in here, about in that spot. Again, the angled section to give it dimension needs to be there. but you know what I'm gonna use one I'm gonna use this tape this sequin tape is really much stickier than any ATG or on roll tape like that to me so I'm gonna give it a coat of that And set it on the center and then I'm gonna stick my little bone folder inside here to press down on the tape and you see there's a good bit of dimension there now if you want to you could put your thanks up here so that you can see the dimension on your mailbox. If you wanted to set this mailbox up higher, you could put your thanks down here or you could put your thanks inside. Now, as I just opened the envelope, you saw that the, I mean, opened the card, you saw that the envelope fell out. Well, in mailing, I swear it's gonna fall out anyway. So I just put a little bit of double stick tape on it, decide where I want the envelope in the box, maybe a little bit of that heart still inside the box, and press it down. Now it's not going to fall out. So there you go. Again, if you want to put the thanks on it, or if you just want to use it as a mailbox envelope, or a mailbox card, you can. And that's how I make my thank you notes. for my Christmas presents this year. Thanks for watching, and if no one's told you they love you yet today, I do.